Hey guys, it's Caitlin from CaitlinMargaret.com. I wanted to talk to you today about limiting beliefs. I'm sure that there's something in your life that you've always been a little bit afraid of. Maybe it's going to the gym and being healthy, or maybe it's getting into a relationship or going after a certain kind of career. And at some point in your life, you probably said, okay, that's it. I'm going to take action. I'm going to go after it no matter how scary it is, right? And you start making a little bit of progress down that road, but then all of a sudden something goes wrong, right? So for example, let's say you're scared of relationships and you're like, okay, I'm going to start dating. You get into a new relationship, you start feeling it out, you're enjoying it. And then all of a sudden you guys get into a big, huge fight. And in that moment, all of the negative images you ever had about a relationship come flashing back, right? You see pictures of your parents fighting, you see um, all of your past fights with your exes, um, you just remember every single negative thought and belief you've ever had about a relationship and it comes rushing, rushing back. And so you decide, I'm gonna quit. I'm leaving this relationship, I knew it all along, I am not suited for relationships, or maybe I just only attract crazy people, or whatever it is right? And you feel good about walking away. This is just who I am. And then a few days pass or maybe a few weeks and all of a sudden you start to get sad or lonely or anxious or depressed. And it's because you ran away from something that you know you truly do want and you're just scared that you're not capable of doing well. And so that, my friend, is a limiting belief, right? And so we have to get over our negative beliefs in order to get the things that really matter the most to us. So a really, really great way to recognize your limiting beliefs is to ask yourself, hey, if I could have anything I wanted in this area of my life, what would it be? And you write it down. And then you write down all the reasons why you think that can't happen. Well, it's not safe to do this, or I'm always crazy, or um, it's, you know, I don't deserve this, or whatever it is. Those are your limiting beliefs. And then you have to imagine what kind of person you would be if you didn't have that belief. Imagine if you had gotten into that relationship and you were the kind of person who just didn't believe that you always attract crazy people or that relationships were impossible. When you got into your first fight, that would just be processed as, hey, this is our first fight. And hey, we're going to get through this, right? And so you have to say, okay, I know that these are limiting beliefs. I see them. I hear that. I know that they're here to protect me, but really they're holding me back from what I really want. So I'm going to put them aside and change and take on these new beliefs so that I can get what I really want in this life. All right, guys, I wish you the best of luck.